Mercedes had their sights set on securing a second consecutive double podium at the highly anticipated Canadian Grand Prix. However, their aspirations were shattered when George Russell experienced a dramatic crash during the race. The British driver was fiercely battling Fernando Alonso's Aston Martin, holding a commendable fourth place when an unfortunate collision occurred at turn nine on lap 13 out of 70. The impact with the inside curb propelled the Mercedes car into the air, losing traction upon landing and ultimately colliding with the wall. The devastating crash resulted in significant damage to the right rear tire rim and front wing. Russell's car underwent swift repairs and was able to rejoin the race, albeit at the back of the safety car train trailing the entire field. Despite the setback, Russell expressed his determination and assured his team via radio that he was fit to continue. However, the incident undoubtedly raised questions within the Mercedes camp. Would they hold this mishap against him? Would Toto Wolf, the team principal, reprimand Russell for jeopardizing crucial points? In their battle for second place in the Constructors' Championship, the significance of losing 12 valuable points in Montreal cannot be underestimated, especially considering the relentless performances from the Aston Martin team. Russell's early performance in the Canadian Grand Prix might not have matched the blistering pace of his Mercedes teammate, Lewis Hamilton, but securing a fourth-place finish would have been a satisfying accomplishment. Such a result would have bolstered Mercedes' advantage over Aston Martin in the ongoing battle for second place in the championship. Regrettably, an uncharacteristic mistake turned the tides, leaving Russell and Mercedes disheartened. Even though Russell managed to continue the race after his pit stop, the disappointment was exacerbated by the missed opportunity to gain valuable recovery points. Inevitably, questions arise about the potential ramifications of Russell's error. Will this incident come back to haunt him later in the season? Could these lost 12 points prove detrimental to his position in the Drivers' Championship or potentially hinder Mercedes in the Constructors' Championship? As speculation looms, Toto Wolff must deliberate on the appropriate course of action for his driver. Prior to the crash, George Russell's performance hadn't showcased the same level of prowess as his teammate Lewis Hamilton in Montreal. Nevertheless, an early fourth-place position in the Canadian Grand Prix would have been a commendable achievement. Unfortunately, an unexpected mistake marred his otherwise consistent performance. Despite the setback, Russell's resilience shines through as he reflects on the incident. He acknowledges going wide into turn eight and unexpectedly encountering a forceful response from the inside curb. The abrupt nature of the incident caught him off guard, resulting in the loss of control and subsequent collision with the wall. Russell expresses his remorse to the team for the missed opportunity, acknowledging the potential for both him and Hamilton to secure podium positions. However, he remains positive, noting that the car displayed competitive capabilities. His ability to persevere and continue racing even after being relegated to the back of the field demonstrates his unwavering commitment to overcoming challenges. The disappointment of the Canadian Grand Prix serves as a bitter pill for George Russell to swallow. Despite the encouraging signs of Mercedes' performance on the track, the incident at Turn 9 marred what could have been a triumphant race. Russell's damaged right rear tire and front wing bear witness to the unpredictable nature of Formula One. Yet, amidst the disappointment, Russell finds solace in the fact that the car displayed reasonable competitiveness. Reflecting on his initial belief that the incident had prematurely ended his race, he expresses surprise at being able to continue. The memory of a similar experience at Silverstone serves as a reminder not to prematurely concede defeat. Russell recognizes the importance of being held accountable for mistakes in sports and the subsequent need to learn and grow from them. In the later stages of the race, George Russell faced another setback as he retired due to a left front brake temperature issue. Although the incident itself was not a direct cause of the retirement, the challenges faced while battling through traffic contributed to the wear and tear on the brakes. Despite the retirement, Russell emphasizes that the car's performance was satisfactory and could have potentially secured an eighth-place finish if not for the congestion on the track. The unexpected position on the grid and the resulting brake issues were unforeseen challenges that impacted his race. 
Nevertheless, Russell remains determined to bounce back stronger in the upcoming races. Looking ahead, the question remains. Will George Russell's lost points in Montreal haunt him in the later stages of the season? Can he reclaim the position in the championship that slipped away? The upcoming races will reveal the true extent of the impact, both on Russell's individual standing and the overall performance of Mercedes. As the team continues to strive for excellence, there is optimism that they will address the challenges faced and regain the competitive edge witnessed in the 2021 season. The Canadian Grand Prix also saw Lewis Hamilton, Russell's teammate, secure a podium finish. However, Hamilton acknowledges that Mercedes lacked the pace to challenge Fernando Alonso for second place, despite a strong start and successfully overtaking Alonso early in the race. Hamilton struggled with traction coming out of the low-speed corners, which ultimately hindered his pursuit. Nevertheless, he remains confident in Mercedes' ability to make improvements and close the gap. With a focus on enhancing rear downforce and improving overall efficiency, Hamilton believes the team will eventually reach their desired level of performance. Acknowledging the dominance of Max Verstappen, Hamilton recognizes the need for continued development and is optimistic about a fierce battle in the races to come. Mercedes' recent enhancements at the Monaco Grand Prix and their double podium finish in Spain appeared to put them back on track. However, Aston Martin's significant car upgrades in Canada highlighted the gap that Mercedes still needs to bridge to challenge their rivals on merit. While Mercedes continues to make progress, they are aware of the work that lies ahead. The battle for development will be a crucial aspect of the season, and Hamilton remains hopeful that they can regain the level of competitiveness witnessed in the previous year, where all three teams fiercely contested for victory. The general pace of Mercedes in the Canadian Grand Prix showed promise, with Hamilton securing a podium finish. Andrew Shovlin, Mercedes' trackside engineering director, expressed satisfaction with the team's performance, but acknowledged the need to find additional pace to challenge Max Verstappen. Shovlin emphasized the team's motivation to close the gap and their determination to bring further performance enhancements. Despite Russell's frustration and retirement, Shovlin remains confident in the team's ability to bounce back strongly in Austria. As we reflect on Mercedes' performance in the Canadian Grand Prix, it's important to analyze the result and consider future expectations. Share your thoughts on Mercedes' performance, the outcome of the race, and your predictions for the upcoming Austrian Grand Prix in the comments below. Stay tuned to our channel for more exciting Formula One updates.